Welcome to Heal Into Happy. I invite you to take an adventure with me into your very own universe as I guide you to go within, release your fears, and become empowered to create a life you love. I am your host, Lark Allen. My intention is to help you shine a light on everything that is keeping you from being truly free. You can expect this healing journey to be filled with love, laughter, clarity, and fun. Are you ready to take a leap of faith? Let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so happy that you are here. Today, I am sharing about step two of how you can birth your heaven on earth, how you can create a life you love step by step with these beautiful manifestation techniques that have helped me create a life that I love, heal, and birth my beautiful baby, Stella. Step two is super fun, and it is a workout where we are strengthening our belief system. A lot of times we let that part of us atrophy away from things not working out or just focusing more on our thinking brain, what our ego is telling us, focusing more on the inner critic instead of the inner cheerleader. And we atrophy because we also aren't utilizing our beautiful beacon of light within us, which is our heart space. Within our heart space, we have housed our inner child. It is how our higher self embodies through us. We have a real life portal of infinite possibilities living right within our heart space. And so today I am going to share with you how to start deepening your relationship with your heart and getting used to reminding yourself to drop out of your egoic mind and back into your heart space over and over and over. And in doing so, you strengthen your belief system and you start utilizing the universe that is within you that is full of pure potentiality, of magic, of fun, and it is your way to create a life you love with ease and flow and fun. Of course, you can do it other ways, but the other ways can lead to burnout and it can lead to things falling out of your life because you're fearful of losing them. When we really start feeling into our heart, we really start understanding how truly powerful we are. We start really understanding why we are here and we start really being able to open our angel wings and our angel wings are connected to our heart space as well. So I'm so excited. This topic lights me up like nothing else. Let's breathe into this now moment. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. I'm feeling called for us to do a couple big deep breaths where we're doing some really releasing. And when you're releasing, you can do a big on the exhale. So we're breathing in new chi, we're doing a little chi splash where we're bringing our, bringing in new oxygen from the heavens into our nose, going all the way through our body. And then we're going (sighs) as we exhale so that we can really release anything that's no longer serving us. I hear somebody tending to their yard right now. So if you are hearing some of that, we can just decide that it's nature being tended to by a human right now. Okay, so we're continuing to breathe in and then breathe out. 
We're releasing anything that is no longer serving us, anything that was happening before you decided to push play is poof, gone. It is working itself out. God is taking that over and all of the angels are celebrating that you are taking this time to tune into yourself, to drop into your heart space, to allow your higher self to be embodied into your body more and more and more. Your angel wings are unfurling. And now we are connecting into the core of Sophia Gaia and her crystalline grid. We are feeling energized and any negativity, anything that is holding us back from our pure potentiality is being released into the core of our beautiful planet, our beautiful earth plane. And now we're getting all of this positive energy from Sophia Gaia and the crystalline grid going up, 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 up into us and all the way up into the heavens. And now this beautiful infinite loop of love is flowing through us. Really breathe in what is happening right now. So much healing, so many miracles, so many downloads. So many upgrades. Wow. We are really getting healed with a violet flame. All of our chakras are being aligned and adjusted. We are having a tune up like no other tune up ever before. Whole heaven, all of the heavens are celebrating that we are deciding to do this right now. I'm really hearing that it is so, so important for us to strengthen our belief muscle and to tune into our heart space more and more and more. And so we are getting a lot of support. We are getting a lot of divine love and we are getting a lot of divine healing because we are deciding to do this beautiful inner work. All right. So. I'm going to share with you the ways that we start strengthening our belief in what we created with our journaling. Now we are going to start strengthening our belief in what we co-created with our heart when we journaled last week. We are going to start every morning with waking up and stretching and doing some deep breathing, doing our five, five, five breathing, where we breathe in one, two, three, four, five, hold one, two, three, four, five, breathe out one, two, three, four, five. We do that five times, so we're really oxygenating our body, and we're feeling really good, and now we are going to start thinking about dropping in to our heart space, connecting to that magical part of us, and really getting excited about what is showing up for us, really feeling into it. And we're going to start asking some questions because when we ask questions, our higher self and our subconscious and all of the ways that things get manifested, when we're asking the right questions about what could go right in our life and strengthening that muscle of positivity and letting that negativity atrophy and fly and kept that and letting the negativity, the negative part of us, atrophy away, we are going to ask questions that are part of the birthing process. Questions like, wow, how did that manifest so quickly? How did all of these miracles flow into my life? I thought the birthing process of that was going to be more complicated, but the universe delivered so much ease and flow Thank you, God, 
for bringing this to me in so many unexpected ways. I never anticipated that plot twist. I never anticipated the way that this is unfolding. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you're starting your day before your feet ever hit the ground, already creating space. And it's like you're watering your inner garden. It's like you're tending to this beautiful part of you within your heart. Our chakra heart color is green. And that means there's fertile ground there. And we are just really spending the first couple minutes of our day basking in that fertile ground and believing and saying, yes, 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 I am open to receive. I am available for this. I love that this is all flowing to me in such beautiful ways. Yes, 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 yes. And every time that you do this, you are strengthening your belief system. This is your belief system getting a really good workout first thing in the morning. You're oxygenated. You're believing in your dreams. You're asking the questions. You're available for miracles. And then throughout your day, I want you to remember this beautiful start that you had where you tended to your inner garden and then keep dropping back into that space. Keep dropping into your heart and allowing that beautiful brain heart coherence to develop more and more and more. Allow the neural pathways that are connected to your heart to keep strengthening more and more and more. We were we have been taught that our heart is just this muscle that's pumping. That is not true. And if you really breathe into it and feel into it, ask yourself if you feel like that's true. And you will potentially get the same answer that I did, that our hearts are so magnetic, that they are so strong, and that they are such an epic part of our journey. So we are strengthening the relationship that we have with our heart. We are celebrating, we are acknowledging. And it feels so good to be living in your heart space more and more and more. That in itself is heaven on earth. That in itself is helping you embody your higher self. And your higher self is already living your dream life. The more and more and more that you're allowing her to embody within you and that you're feeling into her and excited about what is being co created the more that it just starts flowing in. Be receptive, be open. And with all of your encounters throughout your day, if you feel yourself getting agitated or judgy or not living up to the best version of yourself, take a moment, have compassion for yourself. We're all human. Along with being earth angels, we're just feeling into our our angelness more and more and more with each podcast that you're listening to, you're feeling into that more and more. And all of a sudden you can be in a space where you were agitated because you were in that ego realm, drop into your heart, and then you will start having compassion for whatever's happening in that now moment. And you will turn that frown upside down and be able to giggle and, you know, oh, my little human was having a little bit of a tantrum. Now I've dropped back into this vastness of my heart, this huge space that goes on and on and on, this portal to so many places. I've now dropped back into that space. And then the little human things become things you can giggle about instead of things that agitate you. Right. So we're spending our day dropping into our heart more and more and more. And then we're getting into bed. If you have an opportunity to read what you wrote in your journal, I highly recommend it. Maybe you have some journaling to do to add to it 
to write down some things that are showing up in your reality already that are showing you that you are birthing your heaven on earth. Do a little journaling and then you're going off to sleep. You're dropping into your heart space and you're thanking the universe, God, your allies and guides, your higher self, your heart for helping you have such a magical day, appreciating all of the things that are flowing into your reality, however big, however small, that are showing you that you are on the right path, that the right things are showing up, that all of these opportunities for your birthing process to deepen are showing up more and more and more. And then you're ending your day with questions as well. You're falling asleep saying, wow, how did that happen with such ease and flow? How are these things flowing into my life more and more? How is it possible that I am deepening my relationship with my heart? My heart is becoming such a big part of my life. I am leading with my heart. I am opening my heart. I am being guided by my heart. I am having so much more compassion. How did that happen? How did I start flowing down a lazy river with life and just really enjoying every now moment? How did I start letting go of the strife, the struggle, the lack, and feel into all of this abundance? How did all of this abundance start flowing into my life? Wow. How did it become so easy for all of the things that I'm desiring to be birthed into my reality? more and more and more. I am so happy that my subconscious is working on all of these things while I sleep. So many things are happening. I'm falling into a deep, deep dream where there's more healing happening, where I'm feeling into how powerful my heart is more and more and more. I feel so much love. I feel so much bliss. I am so thankful for this day. I am so thankful for this deep healing happening now while I sleep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is how you could start really birthing new things into your reality while strengthening your belief muscle. Because the more that you do this, the more that you're committed to this type of spiritual exercise, the more that you are developing your muscles of belief, the more that you are feeling into how powerful your heart truly is, the more that your higher self feels cozy enough to embody into your human, and the more miracles will show up, the more that the things that you're desiring will birth into your reality more and more and more. And this is exactly what I did as I was creating Stella, as I was bringing her into my reality, I would journal, I would pray, I would feel thankful. I would say, thank you, thank you, thank you for this beautiful, funny, smart, healthy, happy, delightful, patient, kind baby girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And she is all of that and more. If I can birth her from my humble beginnings and from all of the things that have happened in my life, you can birth anything too. I am proof and she is proof of the fact that anything is possible if you believe, if you strengthen your relationship with your heart, if you strengthen your inner relationship with your cheerleader and get to know her and believe in her and listen to her. And every time that negative egoic self decides to give you some feedback, you can say, thank you. But no, I do not consent. I am creating heaven on earth and I am allowing you to always have space at my table of belief. And, you know, start helping your 
egoic mind that goes to the negative because of the fear of expansion of comfort zones and all of the things that happen when we're creating something new, let your ego know you are safe. This is okay. We are going to have everything that we have now, but we're expanding. We're growing. We're having fun together. I don't believe that the ego ever goes away. I believe that we can just take away the strength and power of the negative self-talk more and more and more by feeling into how loved we are, feeling into how divine we are, and really allowing our conscious beliefs flow into our subconscious and give our subconscious so many tasks to do that are about birthing the life that we are desiring to create and having more fun and allowing more joy, flow, and ease to happen as we float down the river to our happily ever after. Okay, so that is step two. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. I am so excited from my heart to your heart. I am offering you so much love and so much light as you get to know the most magical part of you. Let it guide you. Let it love you. And feel into how dynamic and multidimensional you truly are. Until we meet again, happy manifesting and birthing your dream life. Thank you for joining me today on Heal Into Happy. My prayer is that you have gained more insight into your healing journey and that you are one step closer to loving yourself more fully in this now moment. And if you could do me a favor, please leave me a five-star review over on iTunes. My passion is empowering others on their healing journey. And with your review, you may help others struggling to heal find this message. Be sure to visit me at healintohappy.com for past episodes and more ways to connect with me. Also, please always remember that I am offering you so much love and light as I celebrate the divine sovereign being that I see in you. 